Okay, you guys, this is the before of the vegetable garden area. We're going to put a little mini greenhouse over it so I can get started earlier. But I definitely have a lot of work ahead of me because I've got to remove all of these things in here. The dirt that's in the raised beds. And then we'll relocate this large garden bed. It will not be inside the greenhouse. It will be outside it. But So, time to get my work gloves on. Okay, you guys, I'm a little breathless. I've been hauling chunks of rotting wood to fill up this Vigo garden bed. Look at this thing. It doesn't just... I love the color. It just dresses up my garden. I'm totally redoing my vegetable garden area. We just, it's also fruit, just planted this fruit salad tree here. Fruit salad tree, it has a nectarine peach, apricot, and a plum grafted onto this. I think there's two kinds of peaches on it, but anyways, and then my miniature raised, uh, not raised, my miniature greenhouse is going to go right here so I can get started on my other veggies. I have to move these things here. I have to move this raised bed and this is my blueberries and that's the container the tree was in but that the greenhouse is going to go here i will have ability to access this but i wanted to show you how i'm filling it this is um oh 36 inches tall so i do not have to bend over to tend my crops i'm going to do lettuce and radishes and shorter growing things in here but look i'm starting with rotted wood there were some big rounds up in the driveway and um, I'm gonna haul them down here the pieces because they're just falling apart look at that but they'll make perfect filler I've got some cardboard things in there too and then I'm going to you can see down there's my chicken pen I'm gonna put a bunch of chicken litter in here and then I'm gonna plant it up well I'm on top of the chicken litter I will put good uh, fill garden fill and I get that down at a landscape supply. And um, then we will have beautiful soil. Yes, it will um, sink through the season, but that's okay because you wanna to top them up with these garden beds. You wanna to top them up with fresh compost and soil each season to refresh it. The worms will come through. Now you'll notice down here, I also have um, some mesh. This goes under it because we have a terrible gopher problem and that way the gophers cannot come up into the bed and eat my veggies. So that's where we're at right now. So I will bring you on back once this is all filled up and I will take you along when I plant it. So this is the next day and I'm back at it with the vegetable garden. Well, actually it's two days because um, yesterday we were helping my father-in-law. But anyway, so you see this pile of debris down here beyond my uh, garden fork. That is going to go up into the garden bed and help to start continue filling it. I think it's about halfway full with logs and stuff. So, um, well, I don't know, halfway, maybe a third. And then now I'm going to add this debris, which was where we raked out the chicken pen, and I had some debris, uh, garden debris from last season that just got piled here, etc. So that's now going to be hefted up here. So I have to put my camera down and get to work. Okay, so here is the garden debris from last year, some pine needles raked up the area in front of the chicken pen, and there it is inside the raised bed. Now I'm gonna shovel out the chicken house, which has rice holes and a lot of chicken poop and all that in it, and then I'll pour that in here before I start putting the dirt on it. We're making progress. So, a bunch of chicken debris. Next, uh, I'll probably, do some of the chicken pen and add before I add soil. It will cook down, so um, I'm gonna leave enough room for at least 12 inches of topsoil or garden soil. And um, But this will sink down. I'm gonna wet it and let it cook for a couple days and it'll sink and then I can fill some more up.
Good morning, garden friends. I wanted to share the final, not final, final, but it's up. My little greenhouse over my veggie garden area is up. I am going to plant tomatoes and peppers and other warm weather plants in here, try to get a head start, and they are gonna stay here all summer long. I will open up the sides, I do believe, of this greenhouse so the pollinators, what have you, get in. Um, and they'll get direct sunlight. But right now, until June, um, it will help to heat the soil, keep the plants through. Like this week, we're supposed to get rain and snow and cold, cold temperatures. And for now, um, we just put this plastic stuff on the roof. My husband started with polycarbonate panels. He meant to finish that, something came up and he had to get work on that. So we just hurried and finished covering it with this. Before next winter strikes and it can hold, so it can hold snow, we'll finish with the polycarbonate panels. But um, this is gonna stay here. That's the plan so far. Um, anyways, so I just have this little thing, curtain, plastic curtain for a door. But what I'm gonna do to dress it up, cause it's quite homely, I know, but I'm going to make, um, so here's what, this is the door right here. Um, my husband's gonna make me a hinged door so it, and it'll have a cute little handle, but I'm gonna make some uh, trellises to go on each side that are gonna be cute. And then I'm gonna have some big pots I got at Costco that were really inexpensive, but good size. I think I'm putting them here. I had got them to put little solar fountains in, around the garden because I really like those little solar fountains and they just make the water sound everywhere and the birds love them. Um, but I thought they would be perfect planted right here or put right here in front of the, this little greenhouse. One, I'm gonna put a climbing rose in and the other, I may put a clematis and a pink jasmine in and I'll train it up over the roof. And I have some plans for this up here so that will look prettier too. And it's just gonna be like plant on facades, but it'll be easy to do and it'll cover the ugly plastic. Now the side walls are also going to eventually be the polycarbonate panels that um, are all over my greenhouse that is right behind you. So this is the finished product. Now this wood, I don't know, can you see down here? I make, I'll come back and I'll show you down here when I move the camera to show you inside. But one of the raised beds, it's made from wood, uh, we put right here and it's got the mesh underneath so it protects it from the gophers. So I have an area right here still to plant. And I showed you before, and I may link it below if I can find that video, I'm sure I can, how I make a hoop house over this with the remesh metal panels. And I can cover this with plastic and get a little bit earlier harvest. Now the big raised bed beside me, um, it's filled up and I've put lettuce in it and I've seeded some radish radishes so that will be my lettuce and radish bed for now and the plan is if this all works inside the greenhouse during next winter I'm going to try to grow lettuce radishes etc cool weather crops through the winter I know there's that Persephone period where they won't have enough light um, but I can supplement with lights in here some LED grow lights during that time and still get the lettuce that's my plan let's see Okay, so that was just a final wrap up on the little greenhouse in the vegetable garden. Let me see if you can see it all. And I will, I'll come back and I'll share what it looks like when I'm done making it a little prettier. But in the meantime, that is putting it up and how long it took us because, you know, we had to fit it into our other schedule. So I just wanted to do the step by step because I wanted you to see that it's not as easy as going from beginning to end and you know, Instagram reel where it's done in short order. It took us a lot of time. So um, that's, finally it's done and I can start putting uh, the plants in there. So that's that and I will, like I said, share. I'm gonna take you in really quick and just show you the inside. It's nothing really fancy at all, but you'll get an idea of what it looks like in there and how much room I have. So we're inside the door. Here's the doorway right here. And you can see barely anything. But up in the rafters, I'm going to put a board that has hooks in it. I'm gonna hang some hanging plants in here also until um, 
you know, things get taller because tomatoes and everything will climb all the way up the walls or be taller. These are the walls are six foot tall, but you see along the edge where it's all covered with plastic now in the summer when it's hot, the plastic will come down or I can just roll it up. Um, and then I'm going to put the remesh panels. I'm going to hang them and then that will be what I train my, my um, tomatoes up and then I don't have to have cages. Um, and that works perfectly. I've done it before and it worked quite well. Now the back wall, and let me scoot you down a little bit so you can see the ground. Sorry, my camera's not fastened securely there. Let me do that. <laughs> my husband left his ladder in here, but that's okay. Um, anyways, I will plant on either side of this middle section. I'm gonna wanna go through that as a door as well. Um, so I will lose a little space in the ground right there, but there's a little space behind here um, that I wanted to utilize and I wanted to access it. So there's a little spot back there I can grow something. I can even grow like cucumbers or whatever because it's going to be a very well heated and protected spot. Um, and there's a piece of cattle panel back there that the cucumbers can climb up or I could do a cage or I could do a uh, bamboo whatever I just wanted to be able to access access that spot so along both sides on the floor excuse the ladder again this is where I'm going to plant my peppers and tomatoes now the gophers don't bother the tomatoes so I can plant them directly in the ground the peppers I probably will have to either put them in pots to put into the ground or put them in gopher cages because they do love to come and eat the pepper roots. I don't know why. But so that's the plans of a couple of things I know I'm going to be growing in here. Now I'll probably space have two tomatoes um, in on each on one side to grow. I don't know what's going up my back alley, but you hear that sound? <laughs> Anyways doesn't sound like a truck or it sounds like some kind of weird vehicle. Anyways, sorry about that. Um, but that's the plan and I have them properly spaced because then you get a better yield of uh, tomatoes. Now I'm going to be growing some outside of this as well but the whole purpose of this little greenhouse was to get earlier fruit. So it's an experiment but I hope it works. So anyways, but I also can like right now bring out other plants um, that wouldn't do well in the direct cold, but I could kind of heat in here a little bit. Yes, there's a hole in the wall there, but I can patch that up with a piece of tape. Um, anyways, I have a little heater coming. It will heat this tiny space and not use a, too much energy. So that's my plan um, to, because I got a lot of stuff in the house, I've got to get out here. So anyways, this is the inside. Let me go all the way around. All the way, hopefully this isn't moving too fast. Probably is. But anyways, you can see the rafters. So if I would span a board across them and put the hooks in it, then the pl hanging planters can hang down. Um, I have some hanging sweet peas, and other things that are supposed to grow in baskets. I also have some geraniums and stuff for my father-in-law's house. But anyways, so that's that. Exciting. Exciting experiment, experiment for me.